Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter five, lesson seven. We are going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, I want for you to pause for just a minute and make sure that you write these down on a side note, side piece of paper or something. Um, because you'll notice that, first of all, not all of your problems have decimals at all. Some of them have a decimal on the outside and not the inside, so you have to do something about that. And some of them have them outside and inside, so you have to do something about that. That's what move decimal question mark, because if it doesn't have a decimal, you don't need to move one. Um, sometimes you don't have to move one at all, and sometimes you have to move it. So make sure that you're looking for that. Then set up your problem. If it's written like this, that's really hard to divide. Set it up like this, okay? Then divide using our dirty monkey, smell completely bad, or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, okay? If you don't remember what that is, lucky for you, I've got this handy dandy paper to tell you it is divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. So now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? Um, and I am actually going to start on number three, because number two is going to be pretty easy for y'all once you guys get this. So on number three, you'll notice that I had to move this decimal one time. So I moved it one time and then I rewrote it right here. Now, I did go ahead and put my decimal in because I don't know if I'm going to have to add a zero or not. So I just figured I would be prepared. And if not, then I don't have to worry about it anyways because you can put a decimal at the end of a number and it doesn't change anything. So we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? Six is not going to go into one. I'm going to put a placeholder because I don't want to misalign my columns here, okay? Six will go into 12 two times. Two times six is 12. Subtract, okay? Get zero. Zero is definitely smaller than six, okay? So I did my dividing. Six went into 12 two times. I did my multiplying. Two times six is 12. I subtracted, got zero. All my checking is is checking to make sure that zero is smaller than six, and it is, so I can bring down my nine, okay? So now six goes into nine one time. One times six is six. Subtract, oops, not, not zero, sorry, three, okay? Now, here is where I add that zero and I bring it down because three is smaller than six, so I can add a zero and bring it down, okay? It's after the decimal point, so I can add that zero, okay? Have to have a decimal point, otherwise you're creating a bigger number that doesn't, it's not in the problem, okay? So six goes into 30, five times, five times six is 30, subtract and get zero. So now I don't have to worry about bringing any more zeros down or anything like that. My answer to number three is 21.5, okay? Write the work down, okay? Now, we are going to skip, actually, we're gonna go ahead and do number four, sorry, okay? Now, in this one, there was a decimal outside, so I had to move it inside, but inside didn't have a decimal, so I had to create a decimal and then move it over one, okay? So the decimal goes at the end of the number, and then I move it over one, okay? Which means I had to put a placeholder zero in there, okay? So now my new problem is eight into 300, okay? So I'm gonna actually, just in case I wind up having to add a zero. I don't know that I will, but just in case, okay? Now, eight is not gonna go into three. I'm gonna put a placeholder. Eight will go into 30 three times, which is 24, okay? Subtract, 30 minus 24 is gonna be six. Six is smaller than eight, so I'm gonna bring down my zero, okay? Eight will go into 60 seven times. Seven times eight is 56. When I subtract, I get four, okay? Doing okay so far. So now I still have a remainder and I can't do that. So I need to add a zero and bring it down. Notice that zero is after the decimal so I can add it. And eight goes into 40. Five times, five times eight is 40. Subtract, get zero. So my answer for number four is going to be 37.5. Okay, you need to write the work down. Okay, now, now we are gonna skip to number six because you will notice that 35 does not have a decimal in it. There was no decimal outside of the box, 
okay? Which means that all you have to do is come over here to where the decimal is and lift it straight up, okay? I have also taken the liberty of writing down my multiples of 35 over here up to six times because I don't know my multiples of 35 past about 70. So we're going to go ahead and get started, okay? 35 is definitely not going to go into 9. 35 will go into 97. It looks like the most I'm going to get is 2 times, which is 70. Subtract, and I'm going to get 27, okay? Now, 27 is smaller than 35, so I can bring down that 3. Uh-oh, and it looks like I'm going to have to do some more. Some more 35. So 35. And 7 is 245. And if I add 35 to that, then I get 280. Okay, so, all right. So now, 35 into 273, it looks like the most I'm going to get right there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times, which is 245. Okay, when I do that math, 3 can't take away 5. I'm going to go ahead and borrow 1 to make 13 take away 5 is 8. 6 take away 4 is 2. Okay. Now, 28 is still smaller than 35. So because it's after the decimal, I can put a 0 and bring it down. And 280 right there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. 8 times 35 is 280. Subtract and get 0. So number 6 because we're not going every single one. So number six is going to be 2.78, okay? Okay, write the work down, guys. Pause it, do whatever you need to do to write the work down. You don't have to write the multiples down, just write down the work, okay? Now, we are gonna go to number 10, okay? Number 10, you'll notice, okay, had two places that it needed to move in both, okay? So, I moved that, so I got 76, and I moved that, so I got 114. I still put my decimal in there in case I had to go and had to put a zero afterwards, okay? So, I also wrote down my multiples of 76 up to five times, um, just in case I need those, okay? So 76 is not going to go into 1, it's not going to go into 11, and to 114, it looks like the most I'm going to get is 1. So 114 minus 76, okay, 4 can't take away 6, I'm going to borrow that one, okay, making that 14. 14 take away 6 is 8. 0 can't take away 7, I'm going to borrow that and make that 10. 10 take away 7 is 3, so I have 38, okay. So now comes that part where I need to add that 0 and bring it down. Well, five times 76 was 380. There you go, 1.5. So for number 10, my answer will be 1.5, okay? All right, so now we are gonna go to number 13, okay? So you guys are going to complete two, five, seven, eight, 9, 11, and 12. And those are on you guys. You can totally do this, okay? We're going to go to number 13. Mark has a board that is 12 feet long. He cuts the board into eight pieces that are the same length. How long is each piece? So, okay. So, he has a 12-foot board, and he puts them into eight pieces. I'm going to take a wild guess and say I'm going to have to add a zero there because eight doesn't go into 12 easily. So I'm going to put my decimal in, okay? So now I'm going to go over this so that it's not confusing. In just a moment. There we go. Okay. So we know that eight's not going to go into one. Eight will go into 12. One time, one times eight is eight. Okay. Subtract, get four. Well, four is definitely smaller than eight. So I'm going to add my zero and bring it down, and 8 goes into 40 five times, which is 40, finish, 0, okay? So 1.5, and it's being measured in feet. FT is feet, okay? All right. 
Josh pays $7.59 for 2.2 pounds of ground turkey. What is the price per pound? So we're going to take that $7.59. We're going to divide it by 2.2. Well, the kicker is, is that we have to move that decimal. Okay, so now we are actually going to have 22 into oh, 75.9. Okay, all right. So I'm going to cross that one out just so we don't get confused. Okay, so I know 22, I know 44, I know 66, I know 88, and um, 110. Okay, so. All right, so first thing I'm going to move my decimal up. Now that I don't have a decimal outside, I can just move it straight up, okay? Now, 22 is not gonna go into second placeholder, okay? 22 will go into 75. It looks like 66 is gonna be the best we can get, so that's a three, 66, subtract, okay? I'm gonna get nine, okay? Now, I'm going to Check that nine is smaller than 22. It is, so I can bring down my other nine. Okay, 22 is going to go into 99. Well, 88 is as close as we can get, so that's four times. Four times 22 is 88. Subtract, get 11. Okay, now because I have that decimal there, I can add a zero and bring it down. Well, 22 goes into 110 five times. Okay. That's there for you. So your answer for number 14 is going to be $3.45. Okay, make sure you have the dollar sign. That's your label for that one. Okay, so write your work down, guys. It's important. Okay, all right. We're going to get started on the back on the lesson check. You guys are going to do that yourself, just like always. Okay, and the fire review. Susie buys 35 pounds of rice. She divides it equally into 100 bags. How many pounds of rice does Susie put in each bag? Now, remember that when you have 35, let's say that the decimal goes afterwards, and we're going to divide that into 100 bags. Okay, well, there's one, two zeros. You're going to move the decimal one, two places. So 0.35, and that's being measured in pounds. All right, Juliet spends $6.12 at the store. Morgan spends three times as much as Juliet, and Jonah spends $4.29 more than Morgan. How much money does Jonah spend? So, okay, so Juliet, Morgan, and Jonah, okay? Okay, Juliet, it tells us, spends $6.12, okay? Morgan spends three times that. So we're going to take $6.12 and we're going to multiply that by three because it says that she spends three times that. Okay. Now, three times two is six. Three times three, sorry, three times one is three. And three times six is 18. Go in one, two places, one, two places. So $18.36. Okay. Now, Jonah. Spends what Morgan spends and $4.29 more. So $18.36 plus $4 lining up our decimals and 29 cents. Okay. So now dropping our decimal because we're adding, okay, 6 plus 9 is 15, carry that 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So Jonah spends $22.65. Okay? Okay, write the work down, guys. It's important. Okay? All right. A concert sold out for 12 performances. Altogether, 8,208 tickets were sold. How many tickets were sold for each performance? Well, let's do the math. 
Okay. 8,208 divided by 12. Okay. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write down 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. And hopefully we won't have to go past that, but we'll find out. Okay. 12 is not going to go into 8. Placeholder. 12 will go into 82. 84 is, oops, 84 is too big, sorry. 72 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. 6 times 12 was 72. Okay. We subtract, we're going to get 10. Okay. So now 10 is smaller than 12. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down my zero. 12 into 100, 96 is going to be the most that that is. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. 8 times 12 was 96. Subtract. We're going to have 4 left over. Okay. 4 is smaller than 12, so I'm going to bring down that 8. 12 goes into 48 four times. That is 48. We subtract, we get 0. So 684 tickets. Make sure that you're labeling and make sure that you're writing down your work. Okay? All right. Jared has two dogs, Spot and Rover. Spot weighs 75.25 pounds and Rover weighs 48.8 pounds, more than Spot. How much does Rover weigh? Well, all we have to do then is add them up, making sure we line up our decimals. And if you don't like that there's no number here into that five, put a zero. It is after the decimal place. You are just fine. OK? OK. Dropping that decimal first because we're adding decimals. Five plus zero is five. Eight, two plus eight is 10. Carry the one. One plus five is six. Plus eight is 14. Carry the one. One plus seven is eight. Plus four is 12, 124 and five hundredths of a pound. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. For 5.7, come on back for 5.8. See you soon.